so funny. Oh, hold on. Hello? Hey there, how are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Of course I'm in. Yay! Who is it? Ken asked me on a date. Really? Great news. A romantic dinner. Maybe he's going to propose. I've always dreamed of this moment. I want to look my best. Hmm, the makeup has to be amazing too. But look here. It's been a while since I went makeup shopping. Yikes! Oh, this is a disaster, but don't worry, Barbie. I know the best makeup artist in the land. Really? Do you have a friend like this? I won't do it alone! Who is it? You know him? Wait a bit, he's coming! It's me, of course! But I'll need my assistant. Sue, I volunteered us for another great crafting adventure. <laughs> Earth to Sue, this can't wait! Sam, I was having a bath, what's going on? Tonight is the night Barbie becomes the future Mrs. Ken. We can't waste time. She wants to look fabulous and I desperately need your help. Please! Oh, we better get started then. First, we'll need makeup brushes. That's a lot better than my idea. I was going to paint her. Now it sounds weird. <laughs> oh, Sammy! I'm thinking two steps ahead! That's why we make a great team. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I'll go and check. Holy cannoli! Such a pretty splash of blue! It reminds me of the ocean! You definitely have a way with words, Sam! Let's make the bristles for the brush! See? I told you! Just chill and wait for the result! These look pretty good! Thanks! Any ideas? Yes, we need some foil! Where was it? Aha! Gotcha! But my hair! Oops, sorry, dear. It's for a great purpose. Sue, you can have it. Careful. Oh. I'm okay. We can move on. While Sam's resting, I'll get started on the next craft. It's a face cream to make Barbie look radiant. <laughs> what do you think the ring will be like? You seem more excited about the proposal than Barbie, Sam. I never knew you liked weddings. I'm a complicated ball of slime. I like Barbie, and who doesn't enjoy a good love story? You're such a good friend, Sammy. Shiver me cheddar's so cool. They look like real diamonds. Check this out! I found some more. Wow! I always wanted a new look. This one is perfect. What do you think? I think you'll be the best-looking bridesman. Okay, Barbie, it's makeover time soon. You're gonna be fabulous. I am working on the concealer, and Sam's fully on Barbie's makeover. How's it going over there, Sam? Wonderful suit! This face cream is amazing. I really like it. Look! I tried it too, and my skin ate it like a dessert! Are you using it too? It's supposed to be for Barbie! Are you having a spa day over there? <laughs> Such a classic Sam's move! I need to try out the products, Sue! How else am I supposed to know if they work? All right, good point. And our concealer is ready. Voila! Next, we'll need a little powder. It will have a mirror inside. Sammy, it's time to wash the face cream off. Hurry! I guess you're right. I better wipe this off. Ah. Just don't overdo it. Oops, too late. Oh, oh, seems like it. Right you are. At least the cream really works. What are you working on? Show me what you got. It's a compact powder. Amazing. Give me some. Achoo! Oops, this wasn't planned. Uh, seems like I need those wipes again. Barbie, you're gonna look amazing all thanks to me. You're the greatest makeup artist, Sammy. Thanks, dear. That's very flattering. Ahem. I feel like a third wheel here. I really love watching the process. Then look, this is going to be for your blusher. That's just what we need, Sue. Let's 
give those cheeks a little rouge. Concealer, check. Blusher, check. What is missing? I guess it's something eye related. Aha, uh -huh. Sue. We need to make an eyebrow pencil. Hey, what are you doing? Idling around, huh? Hum, drop it, please. Look, we can use these toothpicks to make makeup pencils. Wow. Let's use this paint, Sue. Brown is perfect for Barbie's eyes. You're right. Great idea, Sammy. It's such a pretty shade. Here they are. Ah, oh, this is better. Say goodbye to those ugly brows, Barbie. I am gonna draw you a trendy set. Ugly? I'll show you what's ugly. Come here. Okay, Slick Slime Sam's makeup team. We need to make Barbie's eyes pop. I mean, not literally pop. That would be weird. I hope you understand what I mean. They should look big and shiny. Let's get to work. The eyeshadow palettes will help us on this mission. I have something for you. It's a perfect shape and size. Thanks! We'll use it as a lid. Sammy, I want the best shades for my date makeup. Could you help? Sure, you got it. Ugh, did we make it on time? Our mission is in danger. Sue, how is it going? It's okay, Sammy. We finished it. Vinci of the makeup world for real. Ha ha ha, you're a humble ball of slime, Sam. I was thinking that Barbie will need mascara. Let's make it too. Uh, it would be a shame to do all this work and not have long lashes. You look stunning, girl. Oh my feta, Sammy. I look like some clown. Come on, you look fantastic. Um, you're the prettiest clown then. <laughs> Maybe you better start again, Sammy. Yeah, that was a practice attempt. I'll get it right this time. Look, Barbie fetch. Ooh, I look like before now. It's a relief. This was the fastest makeup removal ever. Let's get back to mascara craft. I really need that mascara to finish Barbie's makeup. Can you hurry, please? It's ready, Sammy. Check out how cool it is. It looks just like a real one. I still have another tube from the mascara craft. We can use it to make lipstick. Huh? What did you say? Speak up! Huh? The hair dryer is on. You know that's not switched on, right? That's why Barbie's hair is so wet. Thanks, Sue. This shade of pink really complements Barbie's look. All done. We're on the finishing line. There's just one more thing. Um, Sue, I think Ken will have a ring already. No, it's gonna be a perfume bottle. A very beautiful one. When you look good, you need to smell good. Let's make her smell like roses. I'm sure Barbie is gonna love it. Hurry up, out of here. Let's check all the products again. Yep, now she's ready. Good luck, Barbie. You look truly amazing. Ken will be mesmerized by your beauty. Thank you all, and wish me luck. Expensive, they're exclusive, and all the stars are wearing them from Madonna to Britney. What am I talking about? Customized jeans. Fringing, beading, glitter, and would you believe I didn't sew a single stitch? All done with no sew glue and fabric paint. And the best thing about them is they didn't cost a pop star's salary. Now you can get fabric paints in all different colours, which are absolutely brilliant for customising your clothes. Check out these squirty fabric paints. These give a really nice, bold line. 
They're really easy to use and you can get them in some fantastic colours, like this glittery one I'm using here and you can even get them in a pearly colour. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you can also get fabric paints, which come in a little pot. And you just paint them on using a paintbrush, but you may need to check the instructions on the packet to make them stay permanent. And you can also get these in some lovely glittery and pearly colours. Now, you may want to draw your designs out on paper first. You don't make any mistakes, just like the real designers do. And check out this no-sew fabric glue, which means you don't have to do any sewing whatsoever. Just put some little blobs of glue on there. Just a very small amount will do nicely. There we go. And then you can add whatever spangly and sparkly bits you like in a fraction of the time. Looks very pretty. And don't worry, because that glue will dry clear. And don't forget to fray your jeans J-Lo style. Just unpick the seams and then pull out all the thread. And this does take a little bit of time, but don't worry, because once you've finished, it does look absolutely wicked. How cool is that? And there's loads of other techniques you can do. Come on down, model one. You could try hanging strings of beads off the pockets or even off the ankles of your jeans. Or what about sticking patches on your jeans to create this mad mosaic effect? We've used more fabric glue for sticking on the patches. It's really quick and easy to do and it looks fantastic. And check out these sophisticated spiderweb designs. Simply made by cutting slits in the denim, folding back the flaps, gluing them in place, then stick thin fabric on the back and decorate with silver fabric paint. Absolutely wicked. And you can check out our website. Just click on little and you'll find all of these top designs. We'll give the address at the end of the show. So have a go at being your own fashion designer and make your very own little fingertips customised jeans. Cool. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful country. I love travelling the world. You get to see so many. Oh, oh, the maker phone's ringing, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. <laughs> Hello. It's minute mate time in Australia. I'm on my way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And today we're going to make googly-eyed glasses! <laughs> now these glasses can be used as a cunning disguise to fool your friends or just as fun, fancy dress. We can make these fantastic glasses by using these amazing arty things. We've got a glue stick, some scissors, an old pair of sunglasses. Now ask an adult to help you find those. And we've got some paper shapes. We've got two triangles and two circles. Now, my friends, do you think it's possible to make these googly-eyed glasses in just one minute? No way! Oh, really? Well, I think I can, but do you know what? I think I will have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Not the call. Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our two paper circles and we fold them in half like that. And then we get our scissors and on the folded edge, we're going to cut out half a circle shape. A bit like this, very carefully, round and round. And we've opened them up. We've got our two eyes. Oh, lovely. Now let's get our two paper triangles. We're going to put them together and then we're going to snip out two triangle shapes from here as well. Now, we have to be careful with scissors because they are... Yeah! That's right. There we go. Right, now we're going to use our glue, everybody. So let's get some glue here. Plenty of glue on the eyes. That's it. And now we get our eyebrows. And we're going to stick one eyebrow there, like that, and one eyebrow there, like that. Now we need our glasses. Where are they? There they are. <laughs> Let's stick on one of the eyes. There's one. And now we just need this other eye to stick on, like that. And we've made some googly eye glasses. <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you could try these other ideas too. What about these glasses with long purple paper eyelashes for a different effect? 
Or you could try these glasses with bushy, fun fur eyebrows. Or you could try these glasses with feathers and glitter. They're really colourful. Googly-eyed glasses made in just a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Carefully cut a hole into the two round bits of paper. Now put the triangles together and cut out two V shapes. Stick these to the eyes for lashes. Then stick the eyes to the glasses. Your googly eye glasses are finished and ready to wear. Why don't you try and make some googly eye glasses in just one minute and make something fun for a friend right in front of their eyes. <laughs> Thanks for being part of another marvellous Minute Make, everyone! Yeah! Hi, guys. Today we'll create some rings. I really love jewellery. Do you? So what are you waiting for? Here's everything you need. I don't know what to start with. Do you have any ideas? Hmm, I like pandas. They're so cute. I'll show you now. Huh? Uh, look, should we make a panda style ring? Oh, great idea. I love pandas too. But first, let's make the ring base. And then to decorate it, we'll transform the ring into a cute panda. Oh, then I'll be the reference. A paint. A, I mean, mold a panda. Well, then freeze. <laughs> freeze? I'm an active slime. I can't do that. Well, I'm almost done with the ring and ready to decorate it. What? You're done so fast. Wanna try it on? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> I don't like to wear unfinished jewelry. It's bad taste. To make our ring look more like a real panda, let's make a cute muzzle. We're gonna make a lot of rings today. Put it here so we don't lose anything. Why, thank you. After all, we'll have to bake everything. So what are we making next? Let's make a frog ring now. It's gonna be fun. Are you a mind reader? I already prepared a green vase. <laughs> Let's get to it or it'll jump away. Our froggy needs just two big green eyes. We'll also add a smile. He's gonna be so cheerful, just like me. I can be his happy idol. Awesome. But I guess two rings are not enough, right? Of course. Do you have any ideas what we can turn this into? Hmm, what do we have here? All right, pink. I could have guessed that. I think it's a perfect base for a piggy. What do you say? I don't know. I'm cooking. Can't you see that I'm really busy? Okay, I see, but be careful not to damage anything. Okay, Sue. Here's one more ingredient huh? for you. <gasps> so it is a piggy. Do you have anything else? Yep, check this out. <gasps> Whoa, I have to study that closely. This ring looks like chocolate. Maybe I should taste it. Uh, no, no, no. Huh? But why not, Susan? Don't you know that the clay is inedible? Look, I made one more ring. That's my present to you, Sue. Aw, thank you. You're really helpful today. And I also brought a bigger play. <laughs> now, Sammy, let's make a snake. Okay, okay, but be careful. I'll hook it and get to it. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> I know how to speed it up. We'll catch it like a fish. I've got a rod. <laughs> what do we have here? There you go. <laughs> uh, what? What is this? Susan! <laughs> I'm joking! It took me so long to make this rod! Okay. Oh, come on, Sammy. Don't be so angry. We know you're very kind. Okay, you can use my kindness. Here, I made a ring you wanted. Whoa, it's so cute. We're getting a nice set of rings for any occasion. But it's not enough. We have to make more. Guys, don't you go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. I was just thinking about St. Valentine's Day. Oh, I like Valentine's Day. I'd give a hundred of thumbs up to it. What are you up to, Sue? Oh, what a beautiful heart. Let's see if it looks better than this one. Hey, be careful, Sam. Don't break it. I guess one thin circle won't hold this heart. Hmm, let's make it double. 
You don't wear rings like that too often, but this one is coming out wonderful. By the way, I've made you a Valentine's card for the last year and this year and maybe the next one too. Oh, Sam, I love it. <gasps> and you keep helping me with the rings? Two are better than one, but let's proceed. I have these colorful pieces of clay. I can make a pretty weaving from them. Oh, I want to participate in that too. But now my head is spinning. <laughs> Keep swinging. Maybe this way will finish much faster. I have some tricks up my sleeve. Oh, does it mean you'll prepare all the elements? Sure. I'm totally in. <laughs> Your task is to assemble them together. And we'll finally get a cool set of rings for every day. I just realized something. We're like yin and yang. A perfect balance. We match each other the best. It's like we're meant to be partners in crafts. Now that's a great thought. Let's make a ring like this too. Ew, but why do you need it? Well, I'll wear it when I want to feel the inner balance. <laughs> huh, now we need something else. You have to secure it on the shackle. <laughs> Otherwise, how are you gonna wear it? On your forehead? Hmm, cool idea. I'll fix it and put it on your forehead. Oh, come on. I won't wear our rings on my forehead. Never! Oh, Back please off. try it on. Ah, <laughs> no! Ah! <sighs> Finally, see. Oh, you're such a scaredy cat. Don't worry, the rings are not yet ready anyway. Of course they're not. We need to make more to complete hmm, the set. I have uh, an idea. Hey! Simplicity is the key. I want to make a mini rainbow, like after a mini rain. Well, then what's stopping you? You can make whatever you want. Aw, thanks for the support. You're so <laughs> sweet. I hope you can add some magic to our ring. But first, let's make some more of them. Stay tuned. All right, Sue. I thought that we should probably make some special ring. Ah, uh, Sue, where are you? Hmm, maybe we should make some kind of a symbol. What do you say? I am pretty sure that I know what you're talking about. Hold on a second. Oh, I can't wait to see what's his idea. Sammy, where are you? Well, well. Who? Is so impatient here. I chose several symbols. Which one do you like? Hmm, this one. Ah, great choice. Sometimes you surprise me with your speed. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> By the way, I decided to clean up and found something. What did you find? Oh, I'll show you. This. You have some of these pieces left. Oh, well, of course. That's because I wanted to make another ring. Watch this. Uh, Sue, we've made so many clay rings. Maybe that's enough already. Be patient, Sammy. I just want to make a few more. More? I wonder what those are gonna be. I'm gonna scare Sue now. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. I will scare you so you do everything that I say. <laughs> oh, I can also scare you. Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, that was a joke. Let's just make a snake ring. They're so beautiful and graceful, just like me. Beauty and grace is about me. Did you forget about that? Oh, how could I, Sammy? And now it's time to bake our rings. Yep, hurry up. We spend so much time making them. Uh-uh, no rushing here. Our rings have to bake long enough to become durable. Long enough, huh? And how long is that? Oh, is it the timer? Mm, cookies. I mean rings. <laughs> we have to cool them down before you can wear them. Oh, come on. Oh, so hot. Oh, you were right. See? I told ya, but our snake looks kinda pale. Hmm, let's paint it. I chose the color. Sam, can you wait a little longer? Me? Wait while you'll be painting? Never. Hmm, but actually, ha, you can do that yourself. Okay, here we go. How is it going there? It came out great. Just one touch left. And I know what it is. We have to add some liquor to our rings. All of them. It's quite tiring, though. You want to help? You have super slime speed after all. Hmm? Ah, you can do anything without me. Of course I'll help. Or it'll take you forever. Now everything's finally done. Right, Sue? Yes, it is. Awesome. We can check out our wonderful set of rings in all its glory.
wonderful, the marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some scrap paper or card, <coughs> some scrunched paper, <coughs> some paint, <coughs> Some scissors, some paint brushes, and we'll also need, of course, my smelly socks. <laughs> my smelly socks? Scraps? How did you get here? Look, we don't need my smelly socks. Not that these are my smelly socks. <laughs> Honest. Look, Scraps, take these socks back. Can you find me a pen as well, please? Go on, off you go. <laughs> Ah, here we are, Scraps. Thank you very much, my friend. Just what we need. Bye. We've got a pen. Right, we've got everything we need. Although, it does feel like something's missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Um. um. I'm here, Mr. Maker. Of course, Cecilia, it's you. High five. And again. Excellent. We're ready to make our picture. It's scrunched hand art. Lovely. Are you ready, Cecilia? Yes. Excellent. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, this can get very, very messy. So it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And Cecilia, I think we should put on some aprons, so follow me. <laughs> now we need to use our hands. Are your hands ready? Excellent. We also need some scrap paper or card. And can you take a pen, please, Cecilia? And I'm going to ask you to very carefully draw around my hand. That's it. Well done, Cecilia. That looks great. And now we need to cut it out. But we must be careful with scissors because they are... Sharp. That's right. <laughs> Our cutout hand is ready. Let's put that to one side because we need some scrunched up paper. You can use whatever type of paper you like. But the more scrunched up, the better. Now, where's my card hand? Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Place the hand anywhere you like on the paper and get ready to start painting. So, Cecilia, which colour of paint should we use first? I think we should use purple first. Good idea. Let's get painting. Just dab the paint around the edge of the hand like this. Now, if I take off the card hand... Cool. <laughs> Now we can use a different colour of paint. It's a good idea to use dark and light colours. So which colour of paint should we use next? Yellow. Yellow. Good idea, Cecilia. And try to use a clean brush for each colour. Carry on painting lots of hands in lots of different colours. Then leave it to dry. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. We finished. It's some super scrunched hand art. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could try making these colourful dinosaurs and paint them in all different directions. Or how about some autumn leaves on some scrunched yellow paper? Or you could even try silver moon and star shapes in a pink scrunched sky. <laughs> agree that I am a super handsome guy in a sharp looking suit. That's right. But just imagine what it would look like if I had big silly ears. <laughs> I'd look like this. 
Very funny indeed. Mini makers, this is what we're going to make today. It's a pair of headband ears. Now we can make some of these by using these arty things. We've got some sticky tape, some fun foam, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a headband, we've got a pen and some sparkly stars. Now, do you think it's possible to make these headband ears in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I will have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. But well, the first thing we're going to do is fold the fun foam in half and then take our scissors and we're going to cut out a wiggly ear shape starting here at the open ends. Now, we must be careful with scissors because they are... Yeah. That's right. Round and round we go. That looks good. There we go. Right, that will give us two ears. Right, let's get these ears down now. And now we're going to get a pen and draw on some wiggly lines like that. Wiggly lines there. That's some extra detail with a pen. And now let's get some glue. Bit of glue there and a bit of glue there. And we can use these sparkly stars to make nice earrings. Let's bring in our headband and some sticky tape. And then we can stick the ears to the headband. There's one side. And we've just about got enough time over here to stick on the other ear, and we have finished! Yeah! They did it just in time. Headband ears made in a minute. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. Oh, you can make these dangly, glittery, fun foam earrings. Oh, well, you could try making these teddy bear ears with fun fur around the edges. Or you can even make these pointy alien ears with colourful sticky dots. Headband ears made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of fun foam in half and carefully cut out an ear shape so that you make two ears. Add some pen details and sparkly stars for earrings. Then stick the ears onto a headband with sticky tape. And your headband ears are finished and ready to wear. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Well done, everyone, and thank you so much for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yay!